now we're on the way from Coruscant, deep in the mid-rim, to way out on the outer rim forest planet where Kelnaka's jerking off in his hut. We're going to get there through hyperspace fast travel. While on the way, we have good sister Marilyn Stenberg listening to Guy Who Thinks Anakin blew up the Death Star, giving his speech on how they're going to track down and take out her bad sister other half. We meet Basil. Basil, who Disney Star Wars geniusly teased a couple days prior to the premiere. Here comes Basil. He's the tracker who's going to help our band of retarded Jedi find bad sister Amanda Stenberg because he can smell things. And guess what? Guess what? He's from actual Star Wars, everybody. That's right. Basil's species of rodent-like alien comes from a random comic book from the late 70s between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. So we're Leslie Headland and we're our special retarded minion group. We're going to yank this out and claim this is us respecting Star Wars. That's right, everybody. We're proving our real fan cred by taking this character that not even real Star Wars fans knew existed and putting his species front and center so that you could, ex you could respect us. Please believe us that we love the Star Wars. Fake fan. Fake fan. Fan behavior. They pluck something that is totally obscure. And they're going to claim, well, look, there it is. We're respecting real Star Wars. And then here will come the army of stands. And they've already done it, by the way, who will go and say, look, look, look. This is from real Star Wars. They're real Star Wars fans. Leslie Headland, let her cook. All of them pretending to know what Basil's species is. I didn't know what Basil's species was. I don't know who he is. His species, nothing. Because guess what? As hardcore as I am, I don't know everything. And I can admit that. But these idiots, they have to pretend. They have to pretend. They have to draw on something so obscure, so random, to try and prove that they have street cred as actual real Star Wars fans. That it makes it now ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed this brief clip from my review of The Acolyte, Episode 4. If you'd like to watch the entire review, click on the link in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade, and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.